This is a cordyceps mushroom. I think they're one of the coolest types of fungus on the planet. To find out more about it, we're going to take it to a remote forest in India, where we learn how it hunts and kills its prey. What we've got here is a cordyceps. Now this is a fungus which lives on an insect. It infects the insect and then the insect dies from the fungus. And you get this tiny little fruiting body coming up. The way these flesh-eating fungi kill their prey is macabre, like something out of a horror movie. You'll find them in forests all over the world. Some just infiltrate the body of the insect, digesting it as a food source before sending out its reproductive bodies in weird and wonderful forms. But others are genuinely mind-bending. These zombie-making fungi are the ones that hijack an ant's brain, forcing it to climb a tree, latch onto a branch in a death grip, then die, and shoot up a mushroom stalk to spread its spores far and wide. These fungi are fascinating scientifically and there is also a lot of interest in them for medicinal purposes. Traditional medicines have used cordyceps for all sorts of ailments for centuries. So I'll just dig this up to see what insect it is on. I'll have to do this fairly carefully because they're easy to break. Now, this one looks like it's a little caterpillar and the cordyceps has infected it and killed it then consumed it and produced this fruiting body ready to spread around and kill more caterpillars in the forest. Here's another one and this one's on a much bigger caterpillar, a big hairy caterpillar. You can just see the white patches here where the fruiting bodies are just starting to form. Here's another one on a much bigger caterpillar this time. And this one is fully mature so it's completely consumed by the cordyceps and the caterpillar is barely discernible now but that's how it ends up. This all looks a bit creepy, but luckily, because we are warm-blooded, they don't infect human beings. Yet.